All right, folks, this is it. The X Fishman Diamond Blade Mini Spinner Baits, 1 8 ounce or 3.5 grams. And this is how it looks like when it comes out of package. You guys get the same one that I got. Comes six in a pack, 1 8 ounce, one of each color, okay? And uh, yeah, let's take a look how it looks like. The box is pretty nice. Not too bad. If you guys just want to go out and just throw spinner baits, nothing else other than, you know, you have one box of lures. Sometimes I do it because, you know, the baby is napping. I'm out there, just in and out, one lure, go around the pond one or two times, and that's it. This is not too bad. I can put it right in my backpack or put it in my back pocket. It's like the size of my wallet. Let's take a look for a second. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, let's see. Got some information here. Uh, you guys can hit the pause button if you guys want to, but uh, I'm sure they have all the same information on Amazon itself. But uh, yeah, 2.5 size Tennessee Diamond Blade for maximum flash and vibration. I'm actually pretty interested in the little blade itself. So here's all the colors. We have this sexy shad, red and black, black and blue. This is gonna be probably my two primary colors here, white, white and short. And uh, this looks like some sort of a, I guess you could say Tennessee shad. No idea, but anyway, um, I guess I'll take my favorite color and just assess it. This guy right here. Come on. All right. Let's take a look. I guess we'll first start look at the the head. This is a not bad looking head. Lead head, little shad shape. You can see that the eyes are glued on, so it's gonna stay on. Wire is not too bad. Okay, thin wires for your BFS stuff, and here's your size two point five. Blade, and as you can see, it's reflecting the crap out of my light, my little vlogging circle light. Let's take a look at the hook. Wow, the hook is actually pretty small. Uh, would, would I say this is like a one art hook, maybe? Has a bait keeper there. And let's take a look at the silicones. Strands are thin, not too bad, and it's not like overwhelming. Here, let me just dangle it back down. Here you go, that's the profile there. It looks pretty good. So the strands are held together by a thread, you know, they tied the thread, there you go, you can see the fiber, and um, it don't look like it's been glued on, so if you guys want to keep it on, you guys can put some glue, but it's, it's nice, it's better than rubber bands, because sometimes rubber bands, they mix with other silicone, and mix with the other plastics that you guys get rig on, and it's going to melt the rubber band, so um, yeah, it's not too bad, I'll probably put some epoxy on it, but yeah, the wire, you see it bends a little bit, which is uh, you know pretty typical, and I do have two that I compare with, you know, two pretty budget friendly stuff that you can see at Walmart or, you know, Dick Sporting Goods, Discount Tackle, right? So uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna open these up so you guys can actually see it. So let's weigh this guy. Yeah, definitely felt a little heavier than uh, uh, the 1 8 ounce, 3.5 grams. I wonder if it's just the lead that they're talking about that's 1 8 ounce, but yeah, this, when I got it in hand, I was like, this feels a little heavy, but uh, I'll tell you what, these two guys right here definitely, definitely weighs pretty heavy too. So let me just open this guy. First one's gonna be the Strike King Mini King Spinner Bait. I'll uh, weigh it and I'll compare side by side, but it uses the same style blade. See, this guy here is heavier, but I like the arms because the arm is actually uh, smaller. Let me show you guys. All right. See how the arm is a lot smaller, so the blade is actually right there, right? Versus this blade is right there. Okay, so yeah, this guy here, the Mini King is more compact. A uh, Couple of more things is the wire here is actually thicker, which is nice. Having a shorter wire actually is, uh, it's harder to bend. So I actually like the Strike King, uh, Mini King spinner bait a little bit better, but yeah, this guy is definitely heavier. All right, the next one is gonna be the Boya. This one's pretty good too, the Marco Palm Magic. Yeah, these, these two right here, you know, you get it at Walmart. I got these at Walmart, but here you go. This one looks very similar. Okay, very similar and uh, wire size. Actually, this one might be thinner. No, they're... Yeah, this guy looks a little thinner, but Probably can't tell by the naked eye. I'm not gonna, you know, guess who's smaller and bigger. But uh, yeah, let's just say they're the same size. And uh, profile-wise, they're very similar. Blade is different, obviously. 
But the hook, the hook, it seems like this guy here, the boya is thicker and stronger. But for BFS fishing, I don't think you really need that thicker wire. In fact, I probably prefer the thinner wire because you can set the hook easy anyway. But uh, yeah, let's weigh this guy. Oh, 6.8. Wow. 6.7, 6.8. So yeah, this guy is definitely heavy. These are all not 1 8 ounce, as you guys can see. It's closer to quarter ounce, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I really like this guy here because the hook is thinner. Oh wait, we didn't even talk about this hook right here. This hook right here is pretty big. Look at that. So yeah, uh, what do I have to say about this guy? Just, just about out of the box. I think this might be the most uh, affordable if you buy, buy the six pack, but if you buy like the two packs, same colors, it's pretty much similar, similar pricing. But uh, you guys can check out the link in the description below. You guys can see the pricing. Uh, but yeah, there is always like a 10% discount, which is why I actually clicked it, right? So uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So yeah, guys, in the order, right? This guy's the lightest, medium, and heaviest. This guy is the X Fishman. This guy here is the Boya, and this guy here is the Strike. King, mini king, all right? But uh, yeah, out of all these right here, I really, really like this guy here, the X Fisherman, because the hook is thinner, okay? But yeah, I really, really like the Strike King, mini king, because the wire is thicker, all right? I'll put it side by side for you guys to see. It's a tad bit thicker. I could definitely tell the difference, unlike uh, the Boyer and this one. And uh, having a shorter wire and also a loop here make this wire here is a lot stronger. Okay, so if I were to fish waters with some snakeheads or some bowfins, I'll definitely throw this guy here for my power of BFS fishing, while if it's just strictly bass fishing, I'll throw these two. Anyhow, this is what I'll do. I'll open the rest of the bag up so you guys can see the colors close up. Gold head, you have some uh, flash here and some black. Here go the sexy shed. And as I'm opening every single one of these, I am inspecting the swivel and um, the hooks, make sure they are nice and sharp. Here's the all white one with the red eye and with the red thread, it looks like it's bleeding, so it's pretty cool. For those who like to fish night fishing or you know, super early or super late in the evening, a dark color like this guy will slay. And for those who like to throw something and fish spinner baits very low to the bottom, imitate some crawls, right? This is it, right here, the red and black, which is really, really nice in the early, early spring. Anyway. Let's fish this. <clears throat> All right, folks, fish for a while. The fish are not biting. There is a dead bluegill there. But um, yeah, I uh, got a few tests, but I think I'm gonna change it up to spinnerbait. As I mentioned earlier, spinnerbaits are great during winning conditions. And this is a uh, Amazon spinnerbaits. It's cheap, you buy six in a pack, but it's kind of um, equal if you buy uh, two per pack compared to let's say Boya or what do you call that other brand? Uh, Strike King and stuff like that. Right, oh, there's a fish right there. Like I said, man, spinner bait does really well. I had a few taps earlier. Uh, I came off, I came off. But yeah, I had a few taps earlier right there. And I was like, yo, I can't put this thing close enough. Let's get some vibration, let's fish a little lower. And uh, let's put the spinner bait on and let's go, right? And the first cast, got a bite. But uh, unfortunately, didn't bring it back. So let's keep trying. I'm just covering water, same spots. I'm walking back to the car right now and just fish the same old spots where I was casting the, um, the little swim bait, the baby gear on copycat. And hopefully we'll nail a few bass here. Here we go. Here we go. The spinner bait, man. Doing its thing. Doing its thing. Look at that. Whoop, whoop. Off it goes. Here we go, a nice one. 
really nice one. Wow, I've been throwing that other bait and uh, not that great, but once I get low and slow roll, this one right here is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, 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 dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woot woot. All right, one last look. Definitely a chunky one. Biggest one of the day. Woo. Peace out. What's up? You are fishing? That's me. Good luck. Thank you, you too. There's another one right there. He caught one. There we go. Small little guy on a spinner bait. Does really well in the spring. Well, it's still winter, so off it goes. All right. Amazon spinnerbait, pretty good. Not bad for the price, man, but gotta say, you gotta get the one, the six pack in a box is the cheapest. If you get the two, right, in a box, that's pretty much uh, equivalent to, I guess you could say a Boya or a uh, Strike King, one of those small little uh, spinnerbaits. But yeah, this spinnerbait right here is not too bad. And you'll definitely see Jimbo keep fishing it. And um, hopefully we'll stay some more in the spring because this is a killer lure man spinner baits are killer lures for these ponds small ponds yeah you definitely want it for late winter into spring you'll catch a lot of fish trust me windblown bags go get them anyway i left a link in the description below where you guys can get this spinner bait once again get the six pack it's gonna be one of each color all right the fish don't wait go get your lures and go slay them bfs for the win let's go